Are you spending what seems to be hours doing endless amounts of cardio and getting nowhere and not understanding why you're not losing one pound? Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to tell you why cardio is not necessarily the thing that you need to get to that next level and to actually lose body fat. Before we even get started, I want to say that cardio has its place and it does have some benefits, especially when combined with proper diet. So I'm not saying cardio is evil. I've been known to say cardio is evil. But the simple fact of the matter is you don't need to do cardio when it comes to changing your body composition. That time is going to be better spent elsewhere. So cardio is not necessary, like I just said, because unless you have a lot of time to commit to it, it's just not necessary. You don't need to. Adherence to your diet will always be the primary fat loss strategy. So in order to lose body fat, which is the fat that you see in the mirror, you need to be in what's called a calorie deficit or burning more calories than your body's taking in. Problem is with cardio, your body becomes used to and reliant on that amount of cardio that you're currently doing. So if I'm doing cardio, let's just say three times a week and for a half hour, my progress stalls. Now my body has become accustomed to doing that much cardio. Now I have to bump that up in order to do that in order to lose more weight. And then you get to the point of like diminishing returns where you're doing too much cardio and not getting anything out of it. And now your body's reliant on that cardio. So first and foremost, resistance training is way more important than cardio. And I'll explain why in a minute, but you need to be eating in a calorie deficit on a weekly basis to lose body fat. If not, you're totally, totally wasting your time. 70% of your results are gonna come from what you eat. So the nutrition component of all of this is extremely, extremely important. Sweating on the treadmill does not equal fat loss. It's calorie deficit over time. That's what's gonna equal fat loss. So if you just say, let's just say you, you were bad over the weekend and you went and you did 500 calories of cardio, congratulations, you just burned 500 calories, but you didn't fix the root of the problem, which was the diet. And even though you may have ate 500 calories over and you burn that 500 calories, it doesn't necessarily work like that. So I'd rather you focus on your daily total steps, which is a whole other video, than focusing on doing a set amount of cardio. But you need to be focusing on primarily weight training, okay? You gotta remember, weight training is the solution to the issue. Cardio is just the temporary band-aid. So let's say, for example, you got sick and you went to the doctor. Okay, the doctor gives you antibiotics. So that's kind of like what cardio is. It's, it's kind of like the band-aid to the problem. But the root of the problem, if you would have been eating your vitamins and minerals and eating healthy, you wouldn't have got sick. That's what weight training is. So remember, when you build muscle, muscle is active tissue in your body. Muscles help you move and muscles help to raise your metabolic rate. So the more lean tissue that you carry, the more calories you're gonna burn at rest. This is why people have been changing their body composition for years before any of these fancy things have been around doing two things. One, eating in a calorie deficit, a higher protein diet in a calorie deficit, and two, working out with weights and actually weight training. Not doing machine work, weight training. Squats, deadlifts, bench press, all those movements done with progression. That's the, that's the root of the problem. If you're not doing any weight training, you're not giving your body that ability to burn more calories at rest, which is exactly what you need to do. So like I said, this is why so many people fail. Most people associate being in shape with doing cardio. I, I always hear it all the time. I need to get back in shape. I'm gonna start doing cardio. And some people mentally, the cardio aspect of it does work because then it motivates them a little bit more, but it's not necessary. If your diet is in check, and you're working out with weights, that's gonna be the thing that's gonna take you to the next level. So hopefully I have explained to you why it's not as important to be focusing on cardio and why cardio is actually a kind of a waste of time. It really is if you think about it. If you're doing a half hour four times a week, that's almost two hours that you're spending just burning calories. Whereas if you focused on the root of the problem, which is your diet, things would have actually changed. And that's the key element that most people miss. 70% of your results are going to come from what you eat. So if you're not eating properly, you're not going to lose one pound of body fat despite how many cardio calories you're burning. Like I said, cardio does have its benefits and its places, but if you're wasting too much time doing cardio, 
you're getting nothing out of that. I'd rather you spend that time working out, resistance training, and focusing on your diet. Hopefully that helps you. I want you to watch this video and this video, and in the comments below, I'm gonna drop the blueprint to changing your body composition and everything you need to know to transform your body. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.